We have another one in the ladder well going up to the turntable. The rear one is for side to side level. The one in the ladder well is for front to back level. In the green margin, it's five degrees on either side of zero. And that's where you want to get the truck corrected to. You want to get it back into that green margin. And as long as you're in the green margin, you can operate the aerial within its rated loads. If you set up and you're out here in the red, that's operator discretion, whether he wants to operate in that zone or not. And this is a good thing to look at before you even open up any of these outrigger doors. To take a look at those gauges and say, do I even want to try to set my truck up on this hill? Do I need to move it down a little more? If you're pegged out here at 10 degrees, you're not going to be able to trek back into the green. I can tell you that right now. Seven. Oh, the aerial operate, yep. The aerial operate on its side. I mean, it, it doesn't care. It's up to you what kind of a grade you set it up on. Okay? So get corrected back within the, the green margin. If the aerial's rated to be set up on a five degree slope, that's our burden anyway. And with the turntable corrected back as close to zero as possible, and then operating within the rated loads. Alright? colors that we have on the beams, the colors are there for short jacket. This is my identifier part, the body. You're in green, so the beam's all the way out. No restrictions on the aerial other than it's rated loads. We get into the yellow, we have a few more restrictions on reach. When we get into this, I don't know what you want to call that, brown or whatever, then you have more restrictions. And then the red, we're going to let you raise the aerial up about 45 degrees, but we won't let you rotate it. You don't have that beam out far enough, okay? So get the beams out as far as you can, and you'll have more operation over it. And let's especially get the beams all the way out if we're going to work the aerial on that side. But if you need to and you have confined spaces, you can short jack it, and you can short jack all four outriggers if you want, or just one. If I have three outriggers fully out and only one short one, I have unlimited operation over the three outriggers that are fully deployed. I'm only limited in the area of the outrigger that's short. Okay? The limitation. The limitations are automatic, okay. yes. Yeah, all it will do when you do exceed your safe reach limit is the aerial will just come to a nice soft stop. You'll see three lights come on on your panel and the outrigger not extended light will begin to blink at it. And to get out of a situation like that where you've exceeded your reach, simply retract the aerial a little bit or elevate it up. So the higher I am with the aerial, the further I can extend it. The further I can extend it. The further I can extend it. Okay? The further out the beam is, the further I can extend it. Okay? Alright, we're going to throw those jack pads down and that's something we want to do every time we set the aerial up is jack pads underneath each jack leg and a safety pin in each jack leg. Oh, that's just about as wide as some of our streets. <laughs> no. That's where all the wires are. Right. Well, I guess you could pull that up next to a third. Take a look at your board now. As you can see the outrigger not extended light is out. The beams are fully out. All amber jack lights are reporting solid. The truck is very well set up. We're, we're not perfectly level, but we're well within our safety margin for level, front to back and side to side. The only thing we do now before we go operate the aerial is install the safety pins. On level ground, if you use, you see how I got this truck set up? I got three safety pins exposed at the rear jack, two at the front. What that does is it takes the bubble well out of the tire. 
it almost picks the tire up off of the ground. And if we were on level ground, you'd probably have just a little air gap between that back tire and the ground. And it leaves the front rubber on the ground. So simple rule, quick setup rule for our truck is three safety pins at the rear, two at the front, <coughs> levels the truck out very nicely, very quickly on level ground. Safety pins are in the uh, body wells. Those in front are a little more difficult to get at, but that's kind of bearing up in here. I always like to put the handle on the backside so I can see it before I bring the jacks up. Kind of remind me to take them out of there. All right. Pretty happy truck right now. It's set up about as good as you can set it up right now. Any questions on setup? Like I said, take the jack pins out before you bring the jacks up. Otherwise you leave little dimples. Yeah, little, little whoopee on the bottom. But you, you, you always know who hasn't done it. Right here. There's a dimple in it. It's a little wrinkle right there. Right there. Say, I know what you guys did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really.